Hi, my name is Sam Hess. I'm doing EDU 652 Instructional Design and Delivery. This is Assignment 6, Week 6, and the discussion is going to be based around topic activities. So, a topic activity has only one main learning objective and no sub-objectives. Typically, topic activities require a combination of absorb, do, and connect activities and include a test to gauge the accomplishment of the objective. As stated from Horton William in e-learning by design topics and e-learning is a chunk of electronic content that we can access individually and completely accomplishes a single learning objective and can prove those objectives are being met. The most important part of the definition is completely accomplishes, accomplishes a single learning objective. Uh, and the learning objective contains everything necessary to ensure that the learner meets that learning objective. So I'm going to be doing the needs assessment based upon those activities and uh, focusing on the topic activity. What I'm going to center around is a program uh, called Wowzers. It's an e-learning program. Uh, it's new. And uh, the definition of what Wowzers is, is it contains thousands of robust digital third through eighth grade math activities. The activities include online assessments, lessons, simulations, games, and virtual world quests. And teachers can customize the learning tools and plans for each student by using these uh, adaptive tools. And I think the main uh, lesson to take away from this is that it's adaptive and it can be individualized for each student. And the great part about Wowzers is that it uses a combination of connect type, do type, and absorb type activities along with focusing on that narrow topic uh, type activity. <clears throat> Wowzers um, focuses on a career long objective but then it's broken down into individual standards that are manageable by topic type learning activities and that's what we're going to talk about a little bit more is how Wowzers can use those topic type activities to uh, help learners. The basics of the way Wowzers works is that teachers can assign a section and from that they can assign a day and even more specific and narrowed focus they can assign any one of the tryout lesson practice remediations game quest or that last piece is the assessment so it gives the teacher the autonomy to really narrow the focus on the topic and that standard for the either week lesson or the daily lesson. So starting with our, our continuing on with our um, needs assessment, the question is what do you want to know? Well, what I want to know is if um, what the best practices that I could use with Wowzers surrounding these topic type activities. So what I'm trying to measure or define uh, would be to use that Wowzers quiz uh, to really identify the students weaknesses or needs and opportunities for growth. So one of the biggest assets that Wowzers provides is that it has adapted quizzes. These students are given a six to ten question quiz it's between multiple choice and this one would be a manipulative choice where you can see they're supposed to drag the question down to the box in the place value boxes below or it even has uh, the short answer questions these quizzes are not cumulative they're basically based directly on that topic that narrow topic focus and standard for that week or the day and then what I'm trying to measure is based on the results did the student reach that specific objective of the standard and topic that was trying to be measured. I'm going to go ahead and stop here because I am running out of tape. I will continue with part two of the topic activities for education 652.